educator here at the Discovery Center Museum, and today we are going to talk about density, how heavy things are. Have you ever tried to mix oil and water? Have you ever had your hands oily for some reason and tried to wash it off in water? It doesn't work. It doesn't work so well. So today we are going to test out mixing oil and water. So when we talk about dense, we talk about how heavy something can be. Everything around us is made of molecules. Water happens to have a lot of molecules packed into a very small amount. In one glass of water, there are as many water molecules as all the stars in the galaxy. Oil doesn't have as many molecules. It has maybe half the amount of molecules that water does. So what do you think is going to happen when we mix them together? Can you guess before I, before I try it? Go ahead and take a, make a prediction of what is going to happen when I pour this oil into this cup of water. Is it going to sink to the bottom? Is it going to rise to the top? Remember, water is heavier. Look at that, it stayed on top. It's lighter weight and it stayed on the top and you can even see a distinct line from where the water and the oil meet. To kick this experiment up a few notches, we are going to experiment with adding things to this oil and water mixture. And again, you can guess. You can make your own predictions. What's going to happen to the salt? Is it going to sink to the bottom or is it going to rise to the top and, and mix with the oil or lay on top of the oil? So let's mix some salt. It seems to be settling at the bottom. Some of these experiments, you're going to have to give it some time to see what the results will be. You can try anything. Now we're going to try a sugar cube. We're going to try dropping a cube of sugar or a spoonful of sugar, whatever you have at home. First we'll put in our oil and wait until it separates. There we've got our nice separation line and we're going to drop the sugar cube in. And, and the sugar cube, when you first put it in, is very heavy. Do you think it will dissolve? Do you think the sugar will lay on the bottom? Do you think the sugar will rise to the top? What about food coloring? What's going to happen when we put some blue food coloring into this oil and water mixture? Let's get some oil. There's our line. Let's drop a few drops. One of the drops, can you see little balls? Little balls of, of blue food coloring that are just floating. They're at the edge of the line, at the bottom of the oil. I think they're wanting to drop down. Did you see some of the blue co food coloring? So what does that tell us? That the food coloring is heavier. Well, what's food coloring made of? It's made of water. So it's got to make its way through the oil, and it disperses and kind of explodes a little bit, and then goes to the bottom and settles in with the water. Now, for our finale, we're going to try an alka seltzer. Has anybody in your house ever had an Alka-Seltzer when you have an upset stomach or when you're not feeling well? You dissolve the Alka-Seltzer in water. So the Alka-Seltzer will break up into little tiny pieces and mix in with the water and create a solution. So let's get our oil first. Now with the Alka-Seltzer, make your prediction. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to explode? Is it going to rise to the top? Let's find out. There's certainly a reaction happening. I see a lot of bubbles going up to the top, into the oil. Looks like a little mini volcano, like an underwater volcano is happening. So friends, I want you to find other things in your mom's kitchen, ask her permission first, and experiment with oil and water and see if what you've chosen sinks to the bottom, if it rises to the top, and experiment with density. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a great day, guys. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities, or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.